Conquer the world! Yay! <laughs> what is up, peeps? This is a great event. Not for us, but in general. We are getting smacked around down to 9k. 8,000 acres. Round it up. Thank you. When the event first starts, all your teams will have 21,000 acres. And uh, it's a great time to beat up these little teams. Because if I go to attack them now, they're worth 30 points piece. Awful. Uh, I did get one of them. You know, when they were worth 125, I thought I was going to have a little more time, but they be within a half hour, an hour. The event started, this team was destroyed, and yeah, you know, then we were next, and that design actually gave us some trouble, but they got beat up too, so. It's a, a very easy event to participate in, but it's a bit more difficult to, to win. Because the way it points uh, stack, like for instance, wise killers, they are currently number one. And you know, they've got a big team, so they can do some, can beat pretty much anybody in this league. When a team goes above big kingdoms with over 45,000 acres, pay out more, increase as they grow as they go over like death or honor so they're over 45,000 K acres so they're actually worth more than the 125 per person I can't take all of these dudes I could probably get up to maybe Alpha Talon with some backup but still you know I'm getting I would get some good points you know over 125 per person per attack so so they added a bonus meter which is which is nice keep that going um you know but we're getting beat up pretty good go and look at the team rank we're down here 23rd place my teammates were looking at some of these other teams like epic slayers and lamia scale and they were like yo we should fight them so we can you know rise up in the ranks but it doesn't really work that way if we go to Epic Slayers, you know, their top player is worth 109 points, so yes, we could attack them, but, you know, there's going to be more bang for your bucks. And now, since it's about taking acres, it doesn't so much matter who you take them from, it's just the fact that you take them. And again, Lamia Scale is about 100 points a piece, so not really worth it to go for them. So I do think it would be in our best interest to go for these bigger teams and take out uh, players around my level to get us, you know, more than those 125 points per person. So let's say we don't do well in the event, at least we can get, you know, the most acres per attack and the most achievements per attack. So you know, that's kind of what we're going to work on during the event. I attacked a bunch of players here today and yesterday. I had my bonus meter up so they were worth a bit more. It's still not reset so I'm wondering if it's an amount of attacks you have to do to a team in order to get these players to reset. So, Okay, so after eight attacks, one two three four five six seven eight this is the eighth one down here then fire warrior reset so just to show you again uh i should do two things at one time i'll do uh another cool thing about this um event is unlike other events where you have to get 100% to get the full credit. 
this event, uh, you don't. You know, you, you're not penalized for not getting 100%. So here I've got 73%. Anything else I can get here? I'm just gonna leave the rest. And you get the full amount of points. So you don't have to get 100%, so you can go a little bit higher. You can go for a player that's, you know, 10, 20 levels higher than you. And if you don't make it, you know, if you get 70%, good to go. You don't have to get that 100% like some of the other events. And as we go back, uh, Lord Zantac is open again. So it takes eight attacks, then they'll start to reset. Let's find out how many points you get if you don't succeed. Awesome. <laughs> you have lost the battle and not stolen any acres from your team. But it is a great event to get rubies and sigils. Um, some egg tokens too. Lots of uh, speed ups I find uh, in the rewards. Or in the chests during this uh, event. So... Don't forget to use your inner fires. I have a video about inner fires. You can uh, learn how to use them more effectively um, watching that video. Um, you know, your bonus meter will go up to about 50%, so you know, keep that up as high as you can. And buy the 100 energy uh, packs. It'll cost you 10 of your refill packs, so I would go down to 12. You know, so I'm not gonna do it today. I'm just going to do a couple ones and twos, you know, get some points on the board, you know, but sometime tomorrow or this weekend, I'm going to do the, you know, buy 100 and just, you know, keep my bonus meter up, use my inner fires, um, and, uh, you know, just get the most achievements that I can from this event. And, uh, you know, don't forget to open those gold chests. I've got 10 that I can open and I've got, uh, 13 K. So I can open uh, almost 40 gold chests. So if I wanted to, I could really put some damage down in this event. Um, I'm gonna kind of just get a better feel for it and see how my teammates, you know, if we want to make like a, a mad dash to put some points on that board or, you know, maybe I'll just save that stuff for another time. Not my best work during this event, but uh, I hope it put the event in uh, any perspective for you, give you a little insight towards it. And guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.